the lawnmower is not starting right now. I need to change the wheels and tires, do the blade, and then I need to get it running. I think there's a fuel issue. I think I found the first problem. I'm never gonna tell him how right he was, so shh, don't tell him. Right here, so I'm gonna go try and set up the new AC. So we just got back up to the land and it's a beautiful day. Thank goodness we've had a lot of rain, but we have some projects to do because now the land is starting to overgrow again. So it's due for a good mowing, but the tractor, the lawnmower is not starting right now. So we just came from the house with some tools. So Kirk is going to get working on that. Um, hopefully we can get it running today and clear some of this. Uh, I finished the curtains. Yay. So, <laughs> no comment. <laughs> We're also putting uh, the air conditioner in the front room. So we have one built in for the bedroom, but we're putting in the portable one. Um, so and, there's no insulation in there. Anyway, it's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Uh, at some point, we want to cover this, build a deck right here, and that should help. The curtain should help with the heat covering it or painting it white will help with the heat. But today, because this is all going to be overgrown in the next week or so, I got to try to get the little riding lawnmower running again. So lawnmower, a little cleanup in this deck area and curtains. I'm just going to do, you know, gangster style and just pin them up on the wall right now. We don't have rods, so just get some covering. So that's our plan for the day. And our audio should be a lot better. <laughs> All right, today uh, I need to get the jack out of there, and I'm going to go ahead and try to jack up the riding mower. I need to change the wheels and tires and do the blades. I'll probably do the blades last and then I need to get it running. I think there's a fuel issue. So I can get started on starting fluid, but it won't stay running. So uh, try to get it started first. So that's what I'm going to do now. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall I think I found the first problem. It's leaking out of the sight glass right here, all over. So that explains probably why I'm not getting fuel over there. So problem number one.
covering up these windows seems, you know, anti to the point because it covers up the view, but I guess every house has curtains or blinds. So we just have to get these curtain rods up so that we can actually open and close them because putting these pins in was terrible. I don't know what these walls are made out of, but it's not made for pins. However, Kirk was right as always. And it makes a huge difference already with the sun coming through. I can feel a major temperature difference just with pinning up the curtains right now. I'm never going to tell him how right he was. So, shh, don't tell him. Also, I don't know how this happened, but I measured everything twice. I had it all written down. I had this dream of doing these billowy curtains where, like, they had ruffles. And so I was like, I need a bunch of extra fabric. So I went to the fabric store and ordered one and a half times to two times the amount of curtains I needed and when I started sewing all of a sudden I ran out of fabric which seemed ridiculous because I ordered so much extra so I went and I got more and literally I don't know what my mind is made of but I'm pinning up all the curtains so I measured twice I started sewing ran out went and I got more fabric and I somehow didn't make enough curtains for the windows here. Luckily, my design was to have two curtains on every window, but since I ordered double the amount of fabric, I had to put, like I had to split these into two. So I don't know what I was thinking when I measured. I don't know what I was thinking when I cut. I don't know what I was thinking when I counted the fabric, but it wasn't until I got here that all of these little windows all have one curtain on them because I ran out of fabric or I just didn't cut enough amount of curtains. Honestly, I have no idea how this all happened, but needless to say, all the curtains are covered and I'm not gonna tell Kirk how bad my math is because I can't even explain how bad it is because I don't even know what happened, but they're covered. <laughs> Project halfway done. I'm gonna go check on Kirk, see how he's doing and see what kind of help he needs. I just changed the front tires or front wheels and tires and I can tell that it's leaking out of the fuel cell now they got it jacked up. I got the two rear wheels off. I got the tires but I'll probably try to change those back uh, home instead of up here at the property. Since I got to get the fuel cell and all that it's not going to run today. The other thing I did was change my brother got me uh, the mulching blades so while I had it jacked up. I went ahead and changed those blades. So I used my new impact, cordless impact. I think we're great. So yeah, we need a new gas tank, probably new fuel lines. I'll probably just try to overhaul the fuel system and then put these uh, tires on those wheels and then should run great. We'll see. the difference yeah definitely it's cooler feels more cozy for sure like home yeah it makes a big difference it's always blazing light in here out them so yeah it takes away the view but i guess you know once point. we get rods we get open them yeah it's much better it feels much better in here We're gonna get this outside cleaned up where Kirk has started the deck and just get it all cleaned up so we can get started. Gotta clean before you start. Yeah, they're still getting overgrown over there too. So we gotta get it out of the the grass so that we can run the lighting mower and not hit stuff. Oh yeah. Be overgrown. So. Cause now stuff is hiding in the grass. So 
clean it up so we don't break the lawnmower and clean up so that we can build something. Yep. This is our sofa. <laughs> this is how high the grass is right now. Got weeds growing through it. Gotta get that out. This poor table was a casualty of the wind and rainstorms that we had out here from our atmospheric river from this winter and we noticed it all disheveled and we never put it back up. So this thing's got to get cleaned up. All the rocks fell out. That's supposed to be a fire pit, Dunzo. All of our heat lamps that we found, possibly demolished, but living their best life in their nice nature grave, but we don't know what their future holds. The old fence for the avocado tree. It didn't protect it. Did not protect our avocado tree and is now getting eaten by weeds. Oh, all right, we gotta go save some of these things from the floor. So we just cleaned up outside. I got the curtains hung. Kirk worked on the lawnmower. Oh, I uh, changed the front and rear tires, or the front wheels and tires, and the, took the rears off. Changed the blades to mulching blades and found the leak for the fuel. So we got a lot done, a uh, short day, but... A lot to do in a day. So we headed back and we'll have to get back at it. Kirk still has to work on the leak on the fuel tank. And I still have to find curtain rods <laughs> to get these curtains officially hung. But it's a good day all in all. Tired. <laughs> Nature forces us to keep moving forward. With all this space, it's easy to say, let's leave it on the land. But it doesn't take long to realize that everything needs a space with some protection from the elements. And as we take each step forward, we're learning to just go with the flow. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join us on Patreon. Okay. All right. I stand off to the side or center. It could be a little more casual. <laughs> We're like. <laughs> All right. All right. Intro. Take. Take one. Action. Oh. He's good. Get out of here, bud. Lizard. I'm really trying to be a good sport about this, but I've seen mice, a little salamander, and an actual snake just now.